In 2014, Cuomo said, the pro-life people are not welcome in New York, but you stayed anyway. Then again, in 2019, the Reproductive Health Act was passed, angering and shocking the nation by making abortion a fundamental human right. Not only did you stay, but through Compass Care, you expanded services into the largest abortion hub city outside of New York, Buffalo, and you're making a big difference. And also through Compass Care, you filed a lawsuit against uh, Cuomo, Compass Care versus Cuomo, so that we can continue to freely associate as pro-life people in the public square. Here I am in Compass Care's waiting room. The last patients of the day have just left, and we never stopped serving patients. Because of COVID-19, patients were even more at risk for abortion. And we saw, because of your faithfulness, a record-breaking, life-saving year. Over 385 babies were saved from abortion. That's 15% higher than our highest year ever last year. And 191 women prayed to receive Christ as their Savior. That's 35% more than the previous year. The future is looking darker for pro-life people to be able to express our pro-life convictions. But times like these are what faith is for. And while we may be called into deeper fellowship with Christ and his sufferings, we rest in the truth. The future is pro-life. God is on his throne and he is bringing us into a future and he's asking us to walk with him. And that's what you've been doing. And come what may, we will not shrink back. We will not stop testifying to the truth that everyone is made in the image of God and therefore equally valuable from the womb to the tomb. So the state and the nation, they can keep hoarding abortion laws all they want. It simply won't matter. Women will simply choose not to have abortions if they're empowered to say no to abortion. And we are here to say, no, there's another way. Compass Care has a vision and a plan for 2021. The plan is to protect and to expand, to protect our ability to continue to serve women facing unplanned pregnancy in the public square and to expand services, not just to get better at what we do in Rochester and Buffalo, but also to expand our ability to serve patients in all the abortion hubs throughout New York State. We're gonna to continue to press the cause. We're going to continue to move forward in helping women seriously considering abortion because they need it. Their lives depend on it. The lives of their children depend on it. The, lives of, the life of society depends on it. Let us not rob God of the opportunity to show himself strong on our behalf through fear or unfaithfulness, by God's grace, let us continue to move forward, trusting in him. We'll just continue to stand on the principles of what is right and refuse to do what is wrong. The eyes of the Lord, the Bible says, move to and fro throughout the whole earth that he might strongly support those whose hearts are completely his. And as God fixes his eyes and his gaze upon us, let us fix our eyes on Jesus. We will walk out the truth of his kingdom today. It's an honor to serve with you. It's an honor to be with you in all this, and I'm grateful to the Lord for it. Persevere. Endure. Thanks a lot. God bless.